Hello, this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com, and in this tutorial I want to introduce you to a true hero in the After Effects world, Zorro, the Layer Tagger. Zorro is an After Effects script by Lloyd Alvarez that is very useful whenever you have compositions with a lot of layers. It allows you to assign tags to layers and select solo and shy layers based on those tags. In the last parts of this tutorial series, we created this character rig that consists of a lot of different layers. So let's see how to turn our layer chaos into something more manageable with Zorro. After you have installed Zorro, you can launch it from the Windows menu. Zorro has three different modes. Add to add tags to layers. Select to work with the tag layers. And Clear to remove the tags again. We first stay in Add mode since we want to give different kinds of layers different tags now. We start with adding a tag called Bone to all bone layers of our skeleton. For this, we just enter the tag name, select all bone layers, and click on Add Selection Tag. This is also a good point in time to give your layers consistent colors. To give all bone layers a green label color, we choose label color Green and enter the tag name Bone again and add the selection tag a second time. Now you notice that all bone layers have turned green. If you want to give layers a tag name that you've used before, instead of entering the tag name manually, you can also choose from this drop down above. Next, we have a lot of null layers named Extra Null or Extra Pin that we use to connect individual puppet pins to our skeleton. So let's give them a tag named Puppet Pin Null and give them a sea foam color. The right foot goal, left foot goal, hand goal, body, and character master layers are the main null layers that we use to animate this character. So we make them clearly visible with a red color and give them the tag character controls. All layers that we've tagged so far belong to our skeleton. So we also want to give all of them a tag skeleton. To select all layers that already have a tag, we go to select mode, choose all tags, and click select. Now we can go back to the add mode Enter the name Skeleton, and since we don't want to change the color of the layers, we set the Label option to Don't Change Label, and click on Add Selection Tag. If you want to see the tags that are annotated to your layers, you just need to right-click on the header of the layer panel and reveal the Comment column. Here you can see the labels that we have annotated so far. Let's complete the tagging by adding a tag named Skin to all layers that are actually visible parts of the character or the baby buggy. Furthermore, let's give a tag Woman to anything that is part of the woman, including her skeleton, and a tag Baby Buggy to all layers belonging to the baby buggy. Now we annotated all these tags, but what can they be used for? Let's say you want to work on the skeleton. Then we can go to Select Mode, choose the tag Skeleton, and click Select. As you can see, all layers belonging to the skeleton are selected. If we click Isolate in Timeline and then Isolate, you can see that all layers that do not belong to the skeleton disappeared from the timeline. If we also choose to Isolate in Comp, also in the Comp Viewer, only the parts of the skeleton and nothing else is visible. After we are done on the skeleton, we can choose All Reset to reset the Comp and Layer Panel and make all layers visible again. Let's say we now want to work on the skin. So we choose the tag name Skin, click Isolate, and only the skin layers are shown both in the layer and the comp panel. We can refine our selection even further by clicking this arrow button to reveal the advanced search. Here we can specify something like, please show me the layers that belong to the skin and to woman. And as a result, only the skin of the woman and not the baby buggy is visible. In this tutorial, you've learned how to use Zorro the Layer Tagger to assign meaningful tags to layers and select or isolate layers based on their tags. In the next part, we are going to create a rig for the baby buggy. Again, this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com, and we'll see you in tutorial number five.